<laughs> I'm gonna say this the whole time, but freaking late night is late night. I don't always have the best of ideas. Just watch my uh, upcoming uh, Geo Gesso games. I'm not particularly brilliant at that game when it's late night recordings. Uh, let me tell you, you did not charge in. What happened? Now I just want to blaze you all. God damn it. Alright, everybody kill the mage, unless you're out of range of the mage, in case... In which case, just kill somebody. Also, you're gonna level, aren't you? Yeah. HP 2, attack 2, defense 2. Fantastic. Don't care about agility. Don't care enough to care that I didn't get it. Also, that's a horrendous idea, because Ruberon has one of the worst defenses in the force. Not doing it. I want him to be tanking, but I'd rather be tanking in the 30%, if you don't mind. I'd also like Sylvia to not die. Although that does expose, um... Cynthia. So many names that are similar. Cynthia, Sylvia, Julia. To some extent. It ends with Ia. Because that's totally a criteria. Um, okay, now I'm tempted to blaze, but that's also suicidal, so... Instead, instead let's try to freeze. That's not going to do too much damage. They are resistant to magic. But, oh, actually, that was decent. And you're going to heal, aren't you? From a distance, because... Huh. Melee is for squares. And look at his head. Look at his head. It's not square at all. Therefore, he can't do melee ranged heals. Not sure what I just said. Whatever. <laughs> oh, wow. Sonnet's in charge. There we go. She really doesn't want to get burned. HP 2, defense 3, no attack. Which is why I don't like her too much. She doesn't kill things very well. I remember that much. Hmm. Oh, well, there you go. Finally, some action. Howell's gonna have a field day once the bat's in there. Although Howell went way down south, so maybe he's not even in range anymore. I'm terrible at this game, he's not in range. Alright, everybody kill the mage again. Always. No double? Wow, double and crit would have been awesome, but... Of course that won't happen to me. It's me! <sighs> Kill the Hobgoblin first. The Priest is not much of an issue. Hobgoblin could be. I don't want you to get the kill. The mages don't matter. They don't give much in the way of experience. And they hurt like a son of a gun! So, yeah. I'm gonna get the mage down. Oh, I so want to blaze you. God damn it. But I can't! She's also not very good at defense. Apparently, uh, goblins are really bad at offense, so whatever. <laughs> Turned out great! 29 experience points. Not very good, but that was to be expected considering exactly how much damage it did. Okay, nobody can actually get to Jan, and I'm gonna do something s that looks stupid, but honestly, I'm not gonna have that many occasions to actually heal. I'm at the end of the battle. Everything's involved right now. Once I kill all this, I'm done. The end. No, of course you would. I think I'm gonna have, uh, Knuckles heal that, because Knuckles is right there anyways. Also, by the way, Cynthia has a uh, blast one. She has enough mana for that, so she can actually get a kill. If I can find her something that's actually going to give her some experience. Uh, you're actually going to go for this, because I feel like it. That's actually a decent amount of experience. Lots more than I, than what I was expecting, that's for damn sure. Oh, don't kill it, please. That's... that works. 
He's level 3, so again, of course, I would want to kill him. You're also level 3, and apparently priests still give experience, so I'm not sure why I, why I asked you, of all people, to actually attack this. Me, that's fine, though. Hmm. Where's Mead at? Oh, she's getting there. Cynthia needs a really good kill, which I don't have, because everything's kind of irrelevant at this point. I don't think anything really is going to give her 46 experience. The Hunter Goblin, maybe? Or the Bat, but... Eh. Oh, for Kne. Sleep. And it stays there, how adorable! Well, I'm not gonna bother you. Sheesh. I'm gonna let people that actually need experience do this. Actually, I'm gonna have you attack the... Uh, goblin. Sniper, whatever. HP 1, MP 3, attack 2, and agility 1. I didn't try... Uh, I didn't actually try... Uh, Katon, now that I think about it. Uh, it only costs two mana, which kind of... puzzles me. I guess they they make Katon completely different. I'm cur kind of curious to see what uh, Katon's gonna be. Oh, jeez. What is wrong with my wire? Stick with me, please. Thank you. Yeah, that's suicidal. Don't do that. I'm just gonna wait for for an opening to actually use that uh, blast and give her a kill. I might also give her a heal that actually would finish her level up. Probably. Okay, you're gonna get attacked by the goblin, but I kinda don't care. God damn it! You know what? Go for it. I don't think you're gonna kill him anyways. Ooh. That was close. Blast it! Do it now! You've got an opening. Did I heal you? I did. Okay, good. Oh. Blaze is still tempting, but I can't hit the bat because that's gonna kill it. So I won't. I'm gonna hit the goblin instead. You know what? I think I'd rather give uh, her the Dark Sniper. Because I think the Dark Sniper is going to give more experience. I can give the Bat to Mead. Because she's ranged. She can actually take it from there. 21. Yeah, that's not a good amount. Anyway. Defense 3 and no attack. Because, yeah... Suddenly, Mead wants to be the tank master. Whatever. You know, I could farm some a, a decent amount of uh, experience out of that thing. Oh god. That is gonna be Cynthia's heal once she deals with the hunter. Who's level 3 still? Oh, uh, 2, that is. Jan, and he really needs experience, actually. Uh. Knuckles is at 47, which is low. Julia needs experience, too. I don't know. He's still asleep, so he's probably not going to get his experience. As needed as it is. Oh, wow. Critical. 38, as I mentioned, didn't think that was going to do it, but... But... Now she just needs to heal uh, Julia, and she'll be fine. You're wasting it. You're wasting it, mana. I was gonna say experience, but it kind of means the same thing considering. Oh well, never mind. Considering she was getting uh, 12 every time. HP two, attack one, defense two. A little more balanced than need, and therefore probably a little better. Okay, I can't uh, really look at the attack and have a good idea, but 27 HP, 21 defense. 27 and 22, she's better defensively. Uh, I think she's better uh, offensively, but I'd wait until I see uh, 
Mead with a melee weapon before I actually got charging that. Should not kill the thing. It did good. Um, somebody else can take that. Oh god. Oh, good. Actually, very good. Could have hurt a lot, Julia. Gonna have Julia here for Cynthia's uh, benefit. Yeah! I'd like to give Cynthia her level up now. That way, I'm gonna have. Oh, do you have something to heal? God damn it, she can't heal. I insist, I want to heal. Who has a healing item? You do. Good. I insist I want to heal because if she gets a mana, I can use it next battle. That one mana is not necessarily going to make a difference, but it can because uh, with 14 mana, if she only uses heal one, she's going to end up with only two mana left over. Which uh, means she's also gonna get a blast without. She gets to use blast once without um, taking a heal out of her, if you see what I mean. So, worth it, I think. It's gonna make leveling her up, giving her a kill next battle easier. And or less painful. Alright, use that medical herb on this one. There we go. Now the first person between Julia or Ion that takes a turn. MP1, excellent. First person between Julia and Ion, that's gonna be Ion, fine. I was gonna say the first one of those that takes a turn gets the hot goblin. Turned out to be Ion. And we're done here. Oh god. He hurts my voice. Impossible! They defeated my troops again! <clears throat> I should have known that Lynx's absence was a fatal flaw in my plan. Oh, but remember this, you barely escaped with your lives. Barely? Not even... That... He was not even close. Jeez, I even made a mistake and I mentioned it. I let two of his groups attack at the same time and he still wasn't even close to killing me. I should have known this was a trap. Hey, over here, hurry up and open this gate! How about you fly over it? How's that sound? No oh, god. Thank goodness you're alright! I didn't expect you to defeat the devil army under the circumstances. Jeez, what is it? What is it? What is with everyone underestimating us that much? You're the one who Magus was pursuing. That's right, I'm Eric. I joined the Devil Army to see Michelle. They discovered my real intentions and took me before Magus. So, why do you want to see Michelle? Yeah. My father, Elliot, worked for Kim King Ramladu. Y'all remember Elliot? He was kind of a uh, odd eye 0 0.5, if you will. I'll come back to that in a moment. But the Devil Army manipulated the king and made him a wicked man. Yeah, I know that story. My master, Max, told me of Elliot. He was a proud warrior. He knew the king was wrong, but he never betrayed his king. I see. But this Despite that father should have fought against the Devil Army. I want to defeat the Devil Army. Please let me join you. Yes, please stop talking. Ugh, my throat hurts. Yeah, Elliot was kind of the odd eye in terms of... Um, you know how odd eye was portrayed as this... Uh, uh, this one general in the army which was... Maybe not fair, but he was like... He was the likable devil, the one that you attached yourself to a little and was kind of sad when he died, if you will. It was kind of the same thing with Elliot, he was the honorable, yeah that's what I was thinking about, the honorable devil that will just give you a straight up fight and if you win he's like, hey, you're good, nice job, 
you know, every other devil's not gonna take it kindly. This one will. Ah, uh, and this this game also has one. Every Shining Force, I think, has one. This one is, uh, of course, Lynx. <laughs> He's been making that one very clear. Since Mound and its people are safe and peaceful again, we should stay here and heal our any injuries before we begin our journey. Injuries? Ha! <laughs> just a scratch. Eh, it's just a scratch. How did it say? Ah, it's just a scratch. Something like that. Whatever. Um, yeah, I got some shopping to do, I suppose. I don't know about healing injuries, but I got some shopping to do. <sighs> no new swords? That could have helped. I was especially hoping for a new arrow, because... Um, next arrow, I think, is going to have... Uh, um, the next arrow, I think, is going to give me uh, more range. Ooh! 700? 700 only? Deal. Yes. Oh. Yes. No, that's okay. I will sell my uh, old arrow. You know, um, what I was just talking about? With the whole uh, next arrow gives me more range? Yeah, I kinda happened. Always check the bargains, especially with this particular game, because there's a lot of bargains going around. Uh, these, I'm pretty sure, are just chests that I forgot to open, but uh, yeah, everything else, I'm not sure what that, where that came from. Also, I have some epiloguing to do. Uh, help status... Uh, this guy. Eric is a dragon soldier, I guess. Level 2, which means he is actually already promoted, I think. Uh, he gets those stats. 35 attack is pretty much the norm of good attack. It's decent. I mean, Jan is awful, so... It's 5 more than awful, so it's pretty damn decent. Uh, 20 defense, which is not the best, but it's okay, I guess. It's not exactly tanky. Uh, as I remember him, his attack kind of falls off a little. He uses swords, by the way. It's not just like a blur and all out dragon, he actually uses swords. He uses swords, he's not... I don't know, I was using him in my test run, I haven't done, I haven't continued my test run, but so far I wasn't actually impressed with Eric. He was... meh? His attack kind of doesn't really pick off from here. It's okay, it's good, but it doesn't really pick off and gets better that all that much. It's just... it's meh overall. He's a little tanky, but he's also a flyer, so he's not hes not very tanky, and him being a flyer means that he's just... He's an okay tank, but because he doesn't get terrain bonus, he's kind of just mad there as well. He never really impressed me, basically. So I'm not a huge fan of him. You'll get to see uh, all about him uh, for a while, though, because he's still going to be useful. I mean, the next few characters that I actually recruit, if you'll allow me the spoilers, are magic users, so... They're not really going to replace him, so it's not the same role. He's going to be hanging around for a while, so you can judge for yourself if you really want to. Uh, I'm going to hang it here for now, though, and then next time we uh, maybe confront Magus for good, or we actually catch up, or I don't know, but we're going to stop healing uh, our little scratches in Mound, that's for sure. Until then, see y'all!